Hey there guys, Jarrett here, aka Musohani, and I think today we have found the Meta Breaker. I have uh, climbed to the top of 500 after dropping almost to 1,000 here uh, with Mech Rogue and a different version of Mech Rogue. You're going to notice that there's one card missing here specifically, and that's Lab Constructor. Uh, Lab Constructor not doing great since it got nerfed, not a great performing deck the deck's doing okay with lab constructor in it i'll say that it's not but it's not you know the high numbers that it was beforehand so what are we doing instead of lab constructor well we're doing scourge illusionist still but we're not playing the uh containment unit here we're playing mothership here a cheap rusher that fights for board better and in a meta full of hunters that is just what we're looking for here. Mothership also drops more mechs that you can magnetize onto, which is great. Even if you don't magnetize onto them, it drops mechs for Voltron Prime, which is also great. Krabato is in here for some tempo, and you also have any in here for the high rolls. So you got, you know, the the four, you know, the three big ones here that really, you know, swing a board really well, and you still have Memron in here for some real big pop-off turns and some snowball turns also here. Uh, the only card in here that I was a little bit skeptical of was the second copy of Pit Stop. Um, it was not very impressive in my time playing the old version of Mech Rogue whenever I played the Legend this, this month here. Uh, but it's been okay. If I would cut a copy of Pit Stop, what would I recommend? I would probably recommend either a copy of Mistake, Potion Belt, or Beatboxer. Some lists are beginning to play Beatboxer to fight for board if they're on the draw here. And Beatboxer does that really, really well. Yeah, it's only a 4-3 that still dies to most removal out there, but that's fine here. Uh, so what are you mulliganing for? Well, if you're on the play here, you really want Click Clocker or... Frequency Oscillator or Drone Deconstructor here, obviously, any of your one-drops are great. From the Scrap Heap is always one of the, it's one of the highest mulligan win rate cards. And obviously, Venomatic's okay. And if you're going against a board-based matchup here, Serrated Bone Spike's also not the worst keep either. If you have Frequency Oscillator in your opening hand, you're almost going to be guaranteed keep Copper Tail Snoop. Memron or Spider, and on the coin, I probably keep Scourge Illusionist as well, just because it's going to fight for board relatively well to here. So that's going to be it. We're going to get right into the games here and see how the deck does here, because uh, I'm not going to lie here, this the deck seems really nutty right now. Um, it just seems like it could not lose at all. <laughs> Shamans. Shamans are coming. They need to stop going second. That's what I need to do. It feels like a hex. Let's see if we can hit stealth.
the reward and rush. Give this thing a reward. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the play. Just play the primordial wave before, though. A little lost here on that play. He doesn't take seven damage that turn, then. Yeah. Oh. Sadly, my spark bots were not good this game. Use this rush one just to fire it down. Yeah, it's my head up there right here too. Well, I would love to have the reborn one back now. Oh, he only has five mana this turn. That's also a good sign for me. Well, here comes another primordial wave. Flash of lightning. Okay, well that only gets for next turn. It's a tough game. Tough game to, to gauge. I haven't hit that many shamans. So it's a little bit tougher to gauge. Wow. Well, he's overloaded quite a bit here. That's the good sign. That sign is. Okay, well, he played one flash of lightning last turn anyway. I'm going to play it off.
Oh, I did. Wait, how does he... What? Um... The feral spirits didn't overload him? Oh, he played the overdraft. That's right, that's right. Okay. We're good, we're good. Gucci, as they would say here. Those suck, my guy. Oh, actually, the Mecha Leaper is really annoying if he has AoE. Yeah, I think he was doing math. He should have lethal, right? No, because he only played one flash of lightning. Yeah. Just crash of thunder here, yep. Oh, actually, what triggers first? I guess that. Alright, uh... Prime ends it. That does not end it. Do I ever hold this? No. I, miss, I don't think I missed a point of damage either. I'm at 29. Played one flash of lightning. He's got one minion. He's used a lot of burn. Played both lightning reflexes. And both of the nature thing. Okay. Another crash of thunder. Yeah, I was gonna say he ran out a bunch. Had to use too much of it up to stay alive. Alright. Deck's performing relatively well so far. A little bit light on card advantage. I'm not sold on the, the double pit stop here yet, but it doesn't seem to be terrible or anything like that. I'm just trying to gauge where I feel kind of feel comfortable with it, I guess. I don't know. I actually haven't played that many version, that many games of this version of the deck, so I'm trying to get comfortable with this one. Without Lab Constructor here, you're a little bit less threat dense, but I guess a little more threat dense here on your top end, and at least a little bit more focused earlier in the game. But you definitely lean a little bit more on your primes, it feels like. See, like this hand I don't like. We are going first, though. Maybe I keep this. What if he's not... I'm gonna hold, actually. Because it one draw... One draw and I'm good. Yeah, now I can't play it. Okay. We are not rolling well on these spark bugs, so it's another spell shaman. That is all coming out of the woodworks now because there's like no mage on ladder all of a sudden.
I'm going to play the Memoron this turn, I think. Um, it kind of sucks, but I think it's going to have to be done. Because my prior turns are pretty decided for me here. I mean, that one's not good, so if he doesn't kill it, then I go drone, probably go drone deconstructor and try to pop off with it here. If he does kill it, obviously we go with the Scourge Illusionist here. Yeah, it looks like he's just trying to set up a turn here, so, which is understandable here. It's, maybe I return it to my hand. Do we ever think of that? Oh, stealth. Yeah, stealth, stealth is also good. Isn't this broken, though? Like, the... thing for it? I don't remember if it is or not. No? Also, what the fuck happened there? Why didn't I play another thing? I should have returned this to his hand. He would have overdrawn. But I'm an idiot. That's alright. Two Piranha. Did he just run a two? Okay. Well, he's got eight cards. We do this. I mean, Ultra Corp buys him some time here. So that's good for him. Krabatoa gets us a good amount of damage on board. It also fights for board really well, too. We just don't get to do that. do that, but I'm running out of mechs. Alright. We'll do it. Three three doesn't have. Uh, actually, I should have read that. The fuck does this? Is it? It's got to deal twenty, right? Gotta 
Mm-hmm. It's just there. Well, both these are really good. One of these fights for board really early on, and the other one uh, does not. The problem is here is I'm going first. So it's one of those things that I really... I don't even know if I'm supposed to keep this. Nope. I don't think I am. I need a one drop really bad. So, like, I need one drops... Especially since he's this version. Uh, this is a little bit scary now too, because I don't have a turn one or a turn two play. And I don't really want them to pop off. Alright, this is good. So. Play a three drop. Okay. Is he trade trading here? Kind of a fan, actually. Alright, let's play it. Really just wanted to attack, so. I mean, if it gets a bunch of bananas here, it's kind of annoying, but uh, one Divine Shield or Reborn, and it kind of takes care of itself, right? Yeah. Best thing is I don't even have to do anything with that now, because now, even if he plays like Titan Forge traps here, I can just set it up and make the Wind Fury minion and attack with this one first. <clears throat> and this is a copy, so it gets even better. Yeah, here we go. Opponent about to be big match.
Okay, so we chose zombies. Uh, slightly annoying. Even if this goes back to my hand, I get it back in my hand uh, for this. So I'm not too worried about that. And if not, I think we're going coin coin. Um, yeah, I think we are. I think we're going coin coin. And I think I'm going on this one then too. Play around spell power or the the other thing here. So what did he choose? He chose explosive or wandering monster. These can't be good. Yeah. Alright, so this deck's doing pretty good. Not gonna lie. Lab constructor, uh, not needed. 